In this video, I would like to discuss about Gromet installation. So let's open a new product. And from here, let's copy some of those components. So I will copy the Gromet and those connectors here. And now in here, I like to insert a new part, call this body and white panel. So in this part, I'm just going to design a very simple body and white panel. So I made this 3 millimeters thick. Let's add those planes because we don't need them. So the first step, if you have a grommet that it's already designed and you need to mount it, somewhere in the body and white then you are going to need a hole in that body and white so a pretty big hole so if you have an engineer that uh, designs the body and white he's going to expect you to give him the exact diameter for that hole so you're going to have to find out what is the diameter that it's used for the grommet to mount so let's say that in this case we have this grommet and everything is correct and we have here 51 millimeters of uh, diameter so in this panel just going to design a hole that has this diameter So this might be the hole needed for your grommet but you may, but you also need to make sure that the components that have to pass through the grommet they can also fit through the hole like those connectors and that all the requirements are respected so when you check the requirements in a company for the grommet installation the requirements might say that the diameter of the hole needs to be 5 millimeters bigger than the biggest component that has to pass through it. So if the biggest component has 50 millimeters, so let's say you have this hole. So if the biggest component has 50 millimeters, so this is the component, this is a connector. So this is 50 millimeter wide. Then you must have here and here 5 millimeters on each side. So 5 millimeters on each side, this hole has to be bigger. So it has to be 60 millimeters or maybe the requirement says 10 millimeters. So this depends. There might be differences from one company to the other. So you want to check what the exact requirement is. And this is the hole that you must have. So first of all, you need to check your components. And after that, you need to find a grommet that will fit in uh, that kind of hole. So in this case, the component that has to fit to the hole is going to be this part of the connector, which from this side, from this to this side, it has like 43, 44 millimeters. So in fact, you see we have those guides here. So if I measure from one guide to the other, we have 45 millimeters so let's say that the requirement says five millimeters on each side this is extra 10 
so the hole has to be 55 56 minimum this hole has to be 56 millimeters minimum so you want to make sure that to respect that requirement and then when we fit the grommet so now let's make a section I want to make sure that the grommet fits and you see here that there is a distance so I want to make sure that the grommet is okay for this kind of hole or maybe you already have a grommet that will fit exactly this uh, kind of hole or maybe they have a tolerance here so it would be one two millimeters so this is one thing that you want to check you want to check that your grommet will fit the hole or maybe another grommet needs to be designed or maybe another grommet needs to be designed so this is just the first aspect that uh, you need to look after so in here let's say those connectors are fixed into something like a bracket so if we have a grommet obviously we're not going to have a hole for the clip of the connectors on this panel and i would like to make another copy of those connectors and just move them here like this in fact i only need those counterparts and if we insert here a multi-branchable document, so this uh, has to be a geometrical bundle. Let's copy the name first. Let's add the point here. Let's also add the point on this side. Maybe we'll need it. So let's design some branches here. So here we have just two basic branches. So those are 107. 113 so let's make this a little more realistic here So this is like a representation of how a grommet has to be mounted. So first of all you'll have... So this is going to be the harness that sits on this side. And then it arrives at the grommet and those are inline connectors that they connect with the other harness. And you want to make sure that you can insert this connector without any issue with this darker blue connector then this connector will remain here and then after this connector has passed you just have the wire going through the hole and there is enough space here to also insert this other connector the blue, light blue one and after that the grommet will be centered here you see where it has this uh, chamfer and it's just going to be pushed inside by the operator so it's going to be forced inside 
and uh, those grommets are designed in such a way that uh, they are going to be able to mount them because they are made out of rubber so they just push it in there and after that the connectors will be mounted into their counterparts so this is the ideal scenario for a grommet but sometimes you might have a bigger harness you might have bigger branches the most important thing is that they all can pass through the hole without any issues and that they respect the requirement of the biggest component the hole has to be a certain dimension bigger than the biggest component so you need to check that so you can have this uh, in a portfolio a small project like this one you don't need to go too detailed just move them around like i did and they just take snapshots from each step explaining what uh, needs to happen and in here we have a reversed scenario the way this was designed so this is not ideal so in this case you can imagine the connector this connector might pass or not through this hole but it doesn't matter because the grommet you see this other side the whole grommet needs to pass through the hole and after that you can mount it push it push it in and i've seen this scenario where the grommet it's pushed to the hole but it's not ideal so they don't like it i don't recommend you to talk about it even it was just like a desperate scenario because they didn't want to modify the hole on the body in white and the harness it was uh, they were just trying to save money so they did it like that and i also seen this scenario where you have the whole harness here on this side of the grommet and the whole harness passes through the hole and then the grommet gets mounted this is because this harness it's not very long and also all the components of the harness will pass through the hole without any problem and they the hole is way bigger than the biggest component so the biggest component on this harness is probably this connector you can imagine it's uh it's not that big probably this one also but it's a 90 degree one and then you have those three connectors that they will pass through the hole one after another so that's not a problem and more than that they had the connector in a bag arriving from the factory so they would actually pull through the hole the whole bag and then when they arrive at the grommet they take the bag out and they mount the grommet so there will be just a, another small piece of bag that they have to pull it through the hole here so it was actually a good idea because the bag will keep all the clips and connector from hooking onto the hole so this is another scenario where they didn't want to modify the harness or the hole they just found the solution that works but again the main scenario the ideal scenario for a grommet is this one that i explained here and as an assignment you can do this modification here so just move those connectors onto this other side of the body and white so those time so those they will be connectors that they will sit inside the engine compartment so they will have to be they'll have to respect all the requirements of the engine compartment and then the wires will go through the grommet and they will connect straight to the cabin harness so the cabin harness so the grommet will be still on the cabin harness but the inlines they will be on this side so the grommet will go onto the cabin harness but the inlines will go to the other side and those bundles here they have to be deleted so you'll have a single bundle that will represent both of them they will have uh, this thickness here that we did it here and you'll use one of those two holes on the plastic channels to clip just use a clip you can use this type of clip or a tape on clip to do the routing from here to the clip and then to the grommet so this was designed in such a way that uh, we'll have this modification as an assignment so you'll go from this scenario which is doesn't make too much sense to the perfect scenario from a grommet so you'll have your cabin harness here modified with this uh, solution so before you put this into a portfolio 
make sure you make these modifications you don't have you don't want to have something that doesn't make too much sense on your portfolio and the second assignment it would be to make the same thing here so again you'll keep the grommet like this because usually this side of the grommet it's on the dry area and this side it's on the wet area but you'll move this inline connector from here to here so you'd have the gearbox harness coming from this clip into the inline connector and then the inline connector with its counterpart will sit somewhere around here or here you see where it's a better position and that wire will go inside the grommet so the wire will go out to this other side so you can design the wire here finishing on here so this is going to be the cabin harness going from here to the grommet so the grommet instead of being now so the grommet in this scenario instead of being on the gearbox harness is going to be moved to the cabin harness so i want you to understand this exercise because i want you to understand harness families and how components changed from one harness family to the other so this grommet it's ideal to be on the cabin harness family not not on the gearbox harness family so i recommend you to do those exercises as assignments they are very good and watch this video again if you didn't understand exactly what uh, i was explaining here and also do this exercise first so you have all those components already from uh, the other projects and remember to save it so you can have it later so those are the basics for grommet installations i hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video